to escape that. Well, that can't be copyrighted, right? It's live. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens daily, sometimes from London, England. Epcot style. Welcome everybody. I'm just kind of moseying around, killing a day, tripping as I walk on a beautiful dapper day day. Kind of looking for a place to eat. I shot plenty of video today. I, I'm just kind of walking around now. Gonna eat. Walk, I'm just kind of waiting for the fireworks to start. I'm figuring why not hang out here, check out Illuminations. I was gonna head over to Animal Kingdom because I did hear that they are opening Pandora periodically this weekend, a couple times a day to kind of give it a run, you know, and let people test it out and walk around at nighttime and see what it's like with all the lights and stuff on and the illuminescence. But I don't want to spoil it. I think I'm going to wait until pass holder day, if I can get back that day. If not, I'm just going to have to wait until it's open. I don't want to go over there and head eight miles away for something that may not be open today. So I figured, why not? I know Epcot's open today, and it's a perfect day to be here because it is Dapper Day. The Flower and Garden Festival is still going on. There's plenty to eat and drink and enjoy. And I have until nine o'clock tomorrow morning just to hang out. on an airplane, fly to Las Vegas, and check out the Beatles' Love Cirque du Soleil show again. Favorite song. Look at the size of that teacup. Still, late in the afternoon and so many dapper people walking around. I am going to keep an eye out for the next dapper day. I mean, I got the top hat. I just need to get the clothing, the proper clothing to be extremely dapper. I thought they were dapper for a second, but they're not as dapper as these guys. They look almost dapper because they're wearing ears. That is one sane looking river. Get it? That's supposed to be the River Seine. I will probably never step foot in Paris. This is as close as I'll get. What are you gonna do? I just don't think Paris can be as dapper as an Epcot Paris. I don't know. People in Paris do look dapper. Could be more dapper than these guys. Than Lumiere. Look, look at Lumiere. He is dapper. So are you, Cogs. So are you. Very, very dapper. <laughs> so dapper. What better place to be dapper than Paris, France, right? Exactly. Look at you, so dapper with them flowers. <laughs> there is a very dapper person. And would you look at that dapper outfit? Oh, what? Oh, that's okay. Oh, you can run? That's okay. Just, they're very, very dapper. 
You may ask. Look at these people. One of my bucket list ideas that I want to do is I want to go to Disneyland Paris. It's something I've always wanted to do. Shanghai, Tokyo, and Paris. But, I mean, here at Walt Disney World, we have Paris. So I'm kind of like at Disneyland Paris without having to have my passport ready. I don't even need to go to the Eiffel Tower to get an Eiffel Tower. Check this out. This is pretty awesome. If I could figure it out. I think this one's broke. No, it's not. Check that out. You can come here and get pretty much everything that you would get from the tourist areas in Paris, France anyway. Except, I bet, you know what? I bet you could pick up a Lumiere in Paris. Look at the theming of this place. Look at that gentleman. That right there wins the most dapper of all dapperness. You, you beat Dapper Dan. Look at that. You're not going to drop the ice cream on your shirt, are you? <laughs> I've had two Mickey bars, one in a white suit, so I'm really risking it. And I poured Coke on my lap. <laughs> oh, was that what? You are very dapper. Thank you. Gotta love Dapper Day. Ariel is very dap. You're looking at me. Check it out. We got a. Can, you mind being on video? Look at. Oh, no, just. Look, Ariel's dapper. And I've seen somebody in your group. Who was it that was. I was trying to chase you guys down. Had uh, Twilight Zone dapper. Oh, there she is. That's her. That is amazing. That's very dapper. Amazing. A Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Dapperness. I think I'm a little bit underdressed. That's just how I feel. So let's head on over to Morocco and see what's going on over there. So much dapper. Are they going to have a... Uh, I didn't dress up this year because I'm at work right now. Are they going to have a group picture later like they do at the magic kingdom they're doing this year is dapper day is lasting two days the first day was at the magic kingdom second day is here at epcot you would think that they would have it over at mgm studios or hollywood studios because of the theming and the way it is over there but that's not what they're doing. It is held at Epcot, which is fine because with the Flower and Garden Festival going on, what better place to hold Dapper Day? He is very dapper. How many times I come to Morocco looking for that lamp you know the one that you rub and a genie pops out of i've never been able to find one but i keep coming back because i figure one day it only takes one day to find the magic lamp times you have to come down the back alleys you may not find a lamp but you will find more dapper people right what oh dang it i thought i seen one No luck. They keep teasing me. I'm gonna be rubbing one of those one day and have Barbara Eden pop out in her little pink, hot pink puff of smoke. Fingers crossed, it'll happen one day.
wow, they're like the blue man group, but only female. Great musical acts, and tonight's no different, even though it is a Sunday. Look at I just noticed you guys, I've, I've seen you before. That's Mrs. Dapper, but I forget who is playing tonight. I don't believe I have heard any of their music, but let's walk on over that way and I will tell you which musical act is performing tonight, other than that female kind of wannabe blue man group. The only reason I say that is they were trying to do a little comic thing up there when they were playing the drums. And it pretty and it reminded me. Donald? People are starting to seat. I guess I could sit down, but I don't know who Berlin is. Don't know who they are. But just out of the musical theater here, check this out. The Illuminations Globe with right behind it. Spaceship Earth. Because I don't know who they are, I think I'm just gonna kick back and see who they are. I might know who they are, I don't know. But first. Oh, hold on. But that's not her singing. I mean, that's not the creator. Yes, that's her. So she does take my breath away? Yes. Hello? Alright, so the people we're gonna be seeing. Things. Welcome Take my to breath the away from theater music fans Top Gun in just 10 minutes. And they'll be here in 10 minutes. Garden Rocks concert series will proudly present Berlin, Berlin. featuring Terry Nunn. This legendary band is famous They're for legendary. unforgettable hit songs like Take My Breath Away and The Metro. So grab a seat and get ready to rock out in just 10 minutes. We're gonna rock out. They won't play it. I was talking to another guy about it. He said, you know, if this doesn't work for them, if they don't really like it, don't wait to come back. Probably tomorrow night, which is their last night on their last set. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Berlin? You promise your love how much you care I'm still listening, I'm still unsure Your actions are lacking, nothing is clear No more
second show is now Hello Again! They sound a lot like the Pretenders, but I just don't recognize any of their music. You know how life always kicks you in the butt when you think you're. No, life's you know never kicked all. me in the butt. It was just the other last weekend, actually. My daughter's in soccer oh. tournament. I just know and that my battery has, has kicked me in the butt. Shoe. I have to head back out to the truck and replace my battery. Do that Sorry. The so while I was shooting video of the show, I set up my 360 degree camera on my tripod and I recorded about two minutes of video and when I did, when I was all finished, I went ahead and I went to unscrew the little ball which the camera looks like the Epcot globe actually. It fell, hit the ground, rolled all the way down the sidewalk and cracked the plastic lens. I thought it was going to end up worse than what it was, I thought it was really going to be broken but not too much damage, it was the back lens. So. If you watch any of my 360 degree videos in VR or anything like that, just don't look behind you because there'll be scratches on the plastic screen. Check that out. Stay away from him. He's a tramp. I was going to go back and replace the camera on my gimbal, or the, the camera, not the camera, the battery on my gimbal, but I think I'm just going to go handheld for the night because I still have not eaten and I think I'm in the perfect country to get some food. Boy, I cannot stabilize without my stabilizer, can I? Whoa, you're bringing me stuff already. Well, thank you. Incredible. Look at this. So. I am eating at, in Italy, not real Italy, Italy, Epcot Italy. I'm eating here in France. Is this, this is a France, this is Italy. I get confused. But the menu is actually 
not ridiculously priced. I'm actually thinking about going for the cheese stuffed raviolis with the ricotta. And while I'm waiting, they bring me this incredible bread platter and something I'm a little bit afraid to hold up, but I will. Some olives. Look at that. Mexican restaurants, all they give you is chips and salsa. You see, when I was at that show over there, you could unscrew the 360 degree camera. So it pretty much does look like Spaceship Earth. Actually, it kind of looks like an astronaut's helmet, but it dropped, went rolling down the hill, probably a good 30 to 40 yards. Look at this. And what is this? Uh, La Rosa? La, La Rosa. Salud. La Rosa. Salud. Anyway, so if you watch the VR headsets in, in the back, there is a couple little nicks and scratches that appear here. Just on the back lens. Front lens, actually, no damage at all. So because I'm actually not a world traveler, I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with these olives. I think whatever is in here, I think you're supposed to dip. Is that olive oil? Do you eat olives in olive oil? That is olive oil. Olives and olive oil. I think they... Are these chopsticks? At an Italian restaurant? We will see. I don't think so. I can figure out even how to open them. What are these? Somebody told me they're like magic wands. It's like an unboxing of the food. Hello. Hello sir. That was fast. I, I just ordered. <laughs> wow. Would you like some parmesan cheese on top? Please. I'll be right back. Food came already. I just look at. These are not chopsticks. They're like hard breadsticks. And check this out. We got cheese stuffed raviolis. She's bringing some parmesan. Oh, you're not going to grind it. <laughs> Do you want to stop or? <laughs> it's up to you. No, I. I figured I, I can keep you going all night. Ah, okay. I love I love Parmesan. I guess I need to get some more, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're empty. Okay, thank you so much. Done. Uh, thank you. Looking good. Now I did not look at the prices on the menu, so I have no no idea what the cheese, the ricotta cheese stuffed raviolis cost with all this, including, what do they call this, a La Rosa? It's just a dark beer, and it's a pretty tasty one. But I have no idea how much it cost. So before my bill even comes, I'm gonna tell you what I think the meal is worth compared to other restaurants that I go to across the United States. Now this place is pretty nice. It's not a low class restaurant. It's actually pretty nice. Though we're kind of near the back porch area which these people out here are sitting. So the atmosphere alone is pretty awesome. The location, the theming, everything's good. So you have to add a little bit of value to that. Food-wise, these raviolis. I must say, they're pretty good. So I'm gonna guess what my bill is gonna be, what I would be happy paying for something like this compared to standard restaurants across the United States. I'm gonna say 26 bucks. 26 bucks with the adult beverage. But I might try their dessert also, so let's see. It is Italian because I am in Italy, 
So I'm thinking tiramisu, isn't that Italian? I'm going to order, I'm going to look at the dessert menu and see what they have. Probably a little bit of tiramisu or a French mousse. Italy is in France, right? Hence, French mousse, chocolate mousse. Is chocolate mousse French? We'll find out. Okay, so now you can say hi to yourself. Say hi to yourself. So tomorrow, when this post, you'll see yourself. You guys, too. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what do you guys rate this restaurant? How do you guys like it? A 10. 10. That's, that's a pretty high score. She had two bites, but so far it's delicious. Cheese stuffed raviolis? Yeah. That's what I had. Yeah. Pretty I had steak. I, how was it? Tender? I'm telling the cheese stuffed raviolis, they're good. Chicken The chicken parmesan. I forget what I'm having now. I'm having dessert. Some ricotta, ricotta cheesecake. Don't know what it is. Is that Twitter or something? It will be. You want I don't know, YouTube. I have a, yeah. Oh, so you can see yourself? It'll be on my second channel, my daily vlog channel, which is, I don't think you want to watch, but you're on it. So there you go. Uh, what's, your, what's your YouTube? Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. So this here is a ricotta cheesecake. Look at that. That looks amazing. I was just telling them this dessert would be awesome with a mojito. Kind of like it's it's not the texture of flan; it's the texture of a really thick cheesecake. Kind of uh, I don't know what, what would you what would you call it? It's it's like little little ballsy. It's the ricotta. Yeah, it's like ricotta cheese because it is ricotta cheese. So yeah, it, I love it. Thank you. It, I think if you have a mojito. It, I think a mojito would go good flavor-wise, but this 